Welcome to Big Cats Mississippi. Today we've got some great live scope footage. I have picture in picture to show you the action in real time. Oh, there you go. Let's get started. So here we have a fish about 18 feet from the boat, about 23 feet deep. There we see the jig and weight dropping down to the fish. You can see a school of shad there on the right near the bottom. All right, fish is taking a look at it. Boom. There it is. He decided to eat it. We're just going to bring him up to the surface. Put up a pretty good fight. Didn't think he was that big of a fish. And then I discovered he wasn't exactly the target species. It's a little largemouth. Always fun to catch. Not exactly what we're looking for. Boat flip him. There he is. Get the hook out. Get him back in the water. So we can get after some more crappie. Okay, here we go. It's a fish about 22 feet deep. There's my jig coming in at 37 feet out. The jig's dropping down. You can see brush on the bottom. Crappie's still sitting there still. Hoping, hopefully it's crappie. Whatever it is, he's taking a look at it. Swimming closer to it and we're waiting for boom the thump he couldn't resist on his way to the surface nothing quite like that thump you crappie fishing diehards know exactly what I'm talking about so let's bring him up to the surface nice little black crappie and boat flip him I think he's about 13 or so inches they didn't catch any giants on this day but they were all pretty good ones. I ended up keeping two that were less than 13. This one's 13 and a half inches. Let's put him in the live well and get back to it. All right, just cast it out there. There you see the crappie sitting about 15 feet from the boat, about 16 feet deep. There's the jig. He's taking a look. Boom! Couldn't resist. On his way to the boat. So much fun. Nothing quite like it. Boat flip. Oh, this one's a little heavier. <laughs> there we go. Finally got him in. Another nice black crappie. Get him measured. Thinking it's over 13. A lot of 13, 15 inch fish in the lake. Yeah, it's almost 14 inches. Nice black crappie. Let's get back to it. There's another crappie sitting about 18 feet deep, 15 feet from the boat. The jig's right there. Oh, he's taking a look. He's kind of picky. There he is. Boom. <laughs> Finally got him. On his way to the surface. About to take a look at him. I think it's another black crappie. Sure enough, let's boat flip this bad boy. Boom, <laughs> into the boat. Oh, another hard time boat flipping. Nice black crappie. That's another one in that 13 inch range. Very good eating size. Let's get to it. Okay, cast it out there. You can see uh, my jig hit about 35 feet out. There's a couple crappie, 12 feet deep, about 20 feet from the boat. And my jig's dropping down to them right now. He's taking a look. Getting closer, about to see it. There's the quiver, and boom, on his way to the boat. Once they quiver like that, it's game on, and you can't pull it away from them fast enough. You wanna keep the jig just above their head and pull it away from them really smoothly and slowly so the jig is just ahead of them. It's like playing cat and mouse. And once they quiver though, they are gonna attack the, the jig and there's nothing you can do to pull away. This is a nice white crappie, almost 15 inches. It's gonna be good to eat. Okay, let's do it again. Cast this one out there. There's a fish about 23 feet from the boat. My lure just hit 27 feet away, dropping down to them. You can see the weight and jig coming to the fish. Is he gonna look at it? Yes. There's a quiver, boom, the thump, and he's on his way to the boat. This looks like a nice black crappie. Let's flip him into the boat. It takes a while to learn how to cast your jig out precisely within the beam. And, and really it's important to cast it the specific number of feet that the fish is from the boat because it saves time. 
it's a little bit less than 13 inch black crappie okay here's a cra crappie or some kind of fish about 20 feet from the boat about 15 feet deep there's the cast the jigs going down to the fish and the jig just reached him just above him he's already taking a look at it now he's looking at my weight say what yep he's looking at the weight and I set the hook while he had the weight in his mouth oh well live and learn okay here's another cast crappies out there about 10 feet from the boat I cast 15 feet out there's the jig going up now it's down uh, right on top of the fish right there and he's taking a look at it but taking his sweet time sometimes you have to really be patient and try different things to trigger them just like a cat and a mouse trying to bobbing it up and down trying to get him interested okay now he looked up he quit, he's starting to become more interested and kind of losing sight of it right there but he's getting closer to taking a bite come on now this one was really uh, tried my patience there oh there he goes he finally thumped it got to set the hook now he's on his way into the boat that's why fishing with live scope is so challenging it's in real time incredibly exciting it's a boat flip uh, try to boat flip this guy into the boat looks like another good black crappie all these fish are really healthy thick shoulders this one's 13 and a quarter nice black crappie into the live well Here's some footage from the next day fishing. Just set the hook. I don't have live scope footage for this, but as soon as this sucker hit, I knew it was, it was probably a big bass, but the fish was about 30 feet out, suspending in five feet deep of water. I threw the jig out and this bass right here hit almost as soon as it hit the water. It took me a couple minutes to get this thing in, but it ended up being about right at a three pound largemouth bass definitely a lot of fun to catch there's some huge bass in this lake uh, but wrong species fun to catch okay here's my jig just hit 25 feet out from the boat the fish is about 12 feet deep and he's already taken a look at the jig swimming toward it that's always a good sign just below it he's getting a little closer boom there he is about to flip this guy into the boat. I think it's another black crappie. Uh, let's try a boat flip. There we go. In the boat. Ended up being right at 12 and a half inches, I think. It was a good day. Uh, caught 16 and had a great time as usual. Anytime you can get on the water, it is such a blessing. That black crappie right there was a nice one. All right, I think we're about ready to call it a day. We got a mess up in there. Look at the size of that one right there. Good night. keeping 16 of them. It was a fun day, sunny, and thought it was gonna be a lot slower, but it turned out to be a great day. There we go. There are two that are 12 and a half inches. All the rest of them are between 13 and 15. All right, let's start cleaning.
Somebody's been waiting here patiently. You ready for a treat, Fessus? Hmm? You ready for some crappie? There you go. I know you're cold. Go boy. One more. There you go. This is the end of the video today, and I sincerely appreciate you watching it. Please stay tuned. Next video, we'll have more live scope footage with picture in picture, and I'm going to show you how I tie this pink and white jig that I use to catch a in today's video. Pretty easy to do and a lot of fun. So stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and go fishing soon.